Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So for undervolting and overclocking, you'll need some tool like GPU-Z and MSI Afterburner. You can see here is a stock frequency right now on the GPU-Z. And here you can set a core clock and memory clock on a MSI Afterburner. Add some to the game and check how it's going on here. So you can see it's a stock frequency for me it's a kind of 1645 megahertz so main idea behind is to you know how far your gpu can push on a stock clock so you can trick it further so jump back to here on a gpu z and check your max frequency just for reference so let's tweak the setting by 10 or 15 megahertz and same for the memory apply and let's check into the game so here you can see uh, there is a slight gain over the megahertz we already had and let's jump to the MSI and slightly increase more both of them and apply okay so let's jump back to the game and you can see there is like more gain what we had before now um, you'll always need to check uh, how much FPS you're getting on this and what's the core clock is suitable for your graphic card based on that one you just have to trial and error this thing you'll have to keep doing this until you find the best point and for mine I already have done some changes so on a 200 more clocks and 219 for the memory and you can see there is a gain in FPS now let it be for a while and see the stability we are not having any artifacts and that's it that's uh, how you all clock but that's not all you have to underwater this to maintain the thermal efficiency on your GPU so let's get started for that you open up the curve you can see here's the curve editor is showing the stock curve and overclock curve now we'll match this maximum value here with this running game and you see what is a stable megahertz you're getting after the overclock so it's pretty much stable at 1845 for me and uh, you can jump to the curve editor and look for 1845 so my advice is not go for the 1845 actually just be on a conservative side you can just choose a little lower than that so mine I, I will be choosing something from the 17 and so that won't be crashing the system after that you just have to drag all of the dots down which are on the right side and keep matching those let me do some faster for you so done now we'll save this settings and let's save a preference so having a reference and apply this one now we'll reset GPU-Z for a fresh sensor data so we'll know what is the max usage and jumping back to the game we can see there is a increase in a uh, clock frequencies and you can see it's now performing better FPS is kind of back to the normal We can just save a bit more on this one 
and uh, we can proceed further by reducing um, more over voltage you can see right now it's uh, 0 0.8500 and somewhat near that so just once more edit the curve and you will find some value and we'll bring up those value because that's a referencing to 0.830 volt so meaning we are reducing further to 831 from 8500 so it's like uh, you're adjusting voltage value and accordingly you have to adjust to smoothen the curve on a left side make sure it's all smooth like this and that's okay uh, close this up we'll just fine-tune this one and yeah so now save this for again a reference and apply now we'll jump back to the game after this refreshment of GPU-Z and you can see now it's pretty much stable and slight improvement over FPS and frequency is pretty much stable at this point so this is how you save more on GPU voltage and gain some more frequency that's a, a balance between a overclock and a thermal throttling you can even see the perf cap reason is now idle even though the GPU was in use so that's how you perfectly under volt your GPU